Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Gungeon series. Never named has joined once, me once again. I'm not the one who's in a state of perpetual tiredness. <laughs> Never named's got a full night of sleep after like four days no, of insomnia. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I got a full day of sleep. Okay, sorry. He got a full day of sleep uh, after like four or five days of, of rampant insomnia. So um, I didn't stay up like perpetually for four days. It was just like I four didn't days get of not any sleeping. good sleep. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I didn't get any I good sleep. I'm just normal tired. I've just woke up, and basically the reason that we're recording now, you may be wondering why you're recording while you're tired, is just genuinely it's at the best time for us to record because of our time zones. But anyways, yeah, we're gonna we play. need to make we need to make you get up earlier. We we technically do, but that sounds horrible. Um, anyways, I got up early today. I, I say early. It's nine a.m. It's not early. It's just a bit earlier than oh. I normally get up. <laughs> Dude. Oh God. That's. <laughs> Even I'm up at 9 a.m. I, I, I'm i more often than I mean, not... Admittedly, that's because I haven't sleep, slept, but I'm still awake at 9 a.m. More often than not, I am up by this time. I just gen generally d depend... It, it depends on the day. Sometimes if there's work stuff to do really early in the day, I do. But the way that my job works, I can... I can kind of be lenient with when I start and when I finish. So if there isn't anything uh, pressing to do in the morning, I normally take like an hour in the morning to either go to the gym or like watch YouTube or something. Yeah, you you wake up and you have a sort of an hour where you pretend you're still asleep and anything going on is God's problem. <laughs> exactly. We started with Casey and Tiny Bullets. What an interesting start here. What an interesting start. Oh, did you see start. that uh, Bunny read redid those uh eye enemies i did not i noticed the death animation was a bit different but i didn't notice the sprite itself was different i'll have to keep an uh, eye if out we see another one i think a problem is that bunny hasn't made enough rooms that include his enemies so maybe we might, I, I still i'm still see... i'm still really iffy on the theming of those enemies being on floor one i still don't really get why the eye enemies appear on floor one. They, they don't seem very fit. They're, they're great enemies, don't get me wrong. I think they're really well designed. But both their attack patterns and like uh, sort of how difficult they are um, and their theming just seems really weird for floor one, in my opinion. As effect shrink, the first shot of every clip uh, shrinks an enemy. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Also, isn't Alpha Bullets with Katie like insane? Anything with Casey's insane. It's fr friggin' Casey. Yeah, but doesn't Alpha Bullets literally double its damage? Uh, Alpha Bullets is not double. Alpha Bullets is like uh, plus fifty percent or something like that. Oh hello. Well, this is going to be interesting. What is that? This is the new thing that you were talking about the other day to me. Do you know the effect where every enemy has to make new attack patterns and stuff? On the next, I think from the next floor oh. onwards, it'll take effect. Oh boy. Yeah, we're probably gonna You're die. You're gonna die. Yeah, I guess we're probably gonna die. But um, I'm intrigued. But yeah, uh, oh fucking Casey, why do you always do that, you stupid bat? It's because you're using it wrong. Oh, you tit! That was me that that time. The, the first time was not my problem though. That was the game being stupid. Yeah, I'm uh. I'm not religious, but I find it very... There is there is a certain level of convenience in being able to go, yeah, no, uh, I'm tired, so your problems are between you and God. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it is it is kind of insane how much, like, religious lingo and, like, sayings fit into daily life for people that aren't religious whatsoever. Like, yeah. I, say, I say for God's sake, way more than I should, considering yeah, I, I don't way, believe in God. In a way, it's it's almost more uh, scathing to say it's between you and God if you don't believe in God. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's between you and God, and th that that's worse. That's like even more like <laughs> of a dick move if if you know full well. It's just like, yeah, basically, no, uh, go basically, talk, go talk you, to yourself. In I just want to say, if you if you don't if you're not religious, basically you're saying it's your own fucking problem. You deal with it. <laughs> yeah. But you're saying it in a polite way. Yeah. <laughs> there's also the, uh, another favorite of mine is there's only God to help you, which is really fucking funny if, you know. <laughs> there's no one to God. help you. <laughs> yeah, there's no one to help you. Ooh, these are, yeah, they do look cool. 
I like the little like the little glidey effect they have behind them. Yeah, that's super cool. I want him. I should look into how to do that. Oh, he's so small. I see double gun is still really strong. Yeah, it's been nerfed, but it's like still strong. It's on the strong end of D tier. I do like it though. I, I like having some D tier weapons that are pretty like average style wise. That I mean, crazy going on, but the average pretty decent. Oh, 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 another great weapon. You only have D tier guns at the moment. But they're all amazing. I have like three yeah. of the best D tier weapons. Like this thing, especially for D tier, is insane. Like, it has such great range, and it's gonna one-shot most basic enemies. Yeah, like, it's, it's... It's certainly a weapon that gets less useful as time goes on, but I'm okay with that. Yeah, yeah. I love it. I think it's you know, such one a one-shot. Fun... You know, one-shot most basic enemies fails to kill a blobulin. <laughs> I, I, I didn't hit it very directly, I'll say that at least. Okay, I don't want to go to the uh, alt path floors because I don't know if they'll have unique patterns from Bunny's mod. I very highly doubt they will. Yeah. So I think it'll take effect next floor, if I remember correctly. It might be, yep. I, I might be wrong. I might be thinking of the wrong thing, but I'm fairly sure that's what it was. Because I accidentally found it while trying to make my um, modded dungeon trailer. Huh. And I included it in the trailer because I thought it was really cool and ominous. I'd put it yeah, at the end of the like, trailer. Modders have a problem with chronic secrecy. <laughs> it's one of the it is one of the stupidest and weirdest things because it's like, oh, I made this really cool thing. I'm gonna make it so that most players don't see it or understand it. It's like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, like most stuff like in Once We're Under the Breach is listed on the wiki page and it explains exactly what it does. Because chronic secrecy is fun, but it it really sort of means that you're just creating confusion. Well, yeah, like, I've been playing, I know that obviously it's not to do with modding, but I've been playing Elden Ring recently, and I know obviously there's been plenty of Souls games before it, but Elden Ring's a game like that, where so much stuff is barred behind secrecy. Um, hello. Remember, no dodge roll. Yeah. Um, so much stuff is bad behind secrecy, and so much of it you genuinely wouldn't be able to figure out without, like, a wiki or something. And it's kind of crazy, like, there is whole, like, massive areas of the game that you'd never find if you didn't randomly swing at a wall. Huh. It's, it's kind of crazy. Secrecy is a big thing in a lot of games, but it is, you are right, it is kind of a weird thing to do. Hiding a lot of stuff behind... These like, random there's, secrets. there's secrets. There's secrets, and then there's adding something intentionally cryptic and not telling anyone what it does, even if they ask. That specifically is really annoying. Luckily, Bunny has never done that to me. He always just tells me what things do. Yeah, but like the door and on the forge and the the new shrine and all that stuff. Nobody fucking knows what what's up with that. Is that Sparpy? It is, isn't it? I think so. I don't know for certain, because he won't tell anyone. Oh, he won't tell anyone, yeah, that's, yeah I'd rather just at least know who made it. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I just missed the conversation where he explains how everything works, but I don't think I did. <laughs> like, the only things that I've kept intentionally off the Once More Under the Breach wiki page are uh, a whole bullet can. Because that item is meant to be a joke item that people are like, what what does this do? That's the that's the point yeah, of it yeah. existing. And uh, the Turtle Melon Shrine was off the page until you discovered it. <laughs> nice. Because I didn't want you to accidentally yeah, yeah. Like, you know see it on the page and get spoiled. To be fair, that was a pretty great surprise. Yeah, but I did add it once you know you found it. Yeah. By the way, this isn't this this shrine thing is a bit different than it was last time. Last time it, it changed the actual normal enemies attack patterns. This time it's just making the other enemy types spawn along with the normal enemies. So I'm not quite sure if it was a different shrine, maybe? Or he changed it? I have no idea. Hmm. I will say something about Bunny's enemies, they use a lot of visual effects, which yeah. is fine, but it does tend to be a bit overwhelming. 
just as this, a viewer. If there's a lot of them in one room, especially, I think one thing that I found a little difficult, I, I've definitely gotten used to it now, but when I first saw those enemies, is because of all the visual effects, it's really, really hard to tell, like, what they are. Like, they're just amalgamations of things, which is kind of the point, I think. But it, it also makes it very, very hard to know which enemies which when you see them again. Oh, hello. Well, this is interesting. Do you know what we're saying about new shops? Well, Bunny did it. I think Bunny just deleted Bello. <laughs> I like the way that his little, sent... his little place is still here. <laughs> yeah, sent to the fucking Shadow Realm. I'll take a chaotic shift, why not? Oh, that's off, but I recognize that clip sprite. It's what? Off, but. Hmm, interesting. Damn, Casey doesn't get anything. So sad. Okay, that's not doing anything. <laughs> I mean, it is doing something, but it's nothing useful. Okay. Wait, oh uh, excuse me? <laughs> There's this weird issue with enemies like that. I need to look into fixing it, but I'm not sure how. Some enemies just shrink, and they don't shrink properly. They just go, ooh, whoop de floop <laughs> I'm gonna uh, hide in a wall now. You've been getting so many D-tier chests, but they've all been, like, fucking amazing. This Except is also, no, no, to be fair, this is a good gun. Obviously, it can explode if you get hit, but it's a good gun. What, what oh. extra ammo is that? Is this maybe the shrine I was thinking of? It's flag, I think. Ah. Close the vessel. Oh, is that is that just to to end this, I think? I'm not sure. Ah, uh, yeah, finish the floor first and then come back and see if it's still active. Indeed, I will. I'm liking my double gun though. My double gun's doing us doing us right, it's doing as well. And also the saw blades that we've got going on are quite nice. So are you gonna hit us with a question of the day? I don't do question of oh yeah, there you go, there you go. Oh my god! I forgot we you can't find them. Yeah, I forgot about that. New attack patterns. That's cool so as shit. You need to start doing questions of the day. In, but no, I, I can't. I already have too many in Isaac. I can't be thinking of more questions today. Have you seen how sparingly they come out already in, in I, Isaac? I can't I talk to people. I already forget how to do question of the day in Isaac. I can't do more. Okay, basic one. What's your favorite modded item or gun so far? There you go. I don't know. It's, it's not hard for me you. to pick. Oh, it's for, the, it's for the viewers. God. Well, you always answer the question <laughs> no, of the I'm day joking. in your own fucking I'm videos. Joking. I'm joking. Uh, See, you're not. You're only joking because I called you out. The reason. You're only sorry because you got caught. Uh, it still says close the vessel. I'm gonna leave it open. Yeah, may as well. Um, the only reason I answer my own question of the day in my videos is because then I have like a overarching topic for that video. <laughs> Whereas the topic here is just us yelling at each other. Indeed it is. One second. Question of the day, when are you going to do more Half-Life? Uh, question of the day, it's already fully recorded, and people don't realise that. I, I keep getting requests to play Portal, and I'm like, eh, we already played it, I just haven't uploaded any of it yet. Did we? We played Portal 1. <laughs> we played all of Portal 1. Oh yeah, we did, we did, we did. Sorry, I just, it was so long ago, because we don't... It was. Um, <laughs> Because you've been lazy and haven't touched it. No, no. On, I was planning on doing it this Friday, but now that I'm busy on Friday, it might be another day. Ooh, great item. Uh, it might be uh, another day. I'm not sure, but I'm going to do like a, a channel trailer for um, for the second channel and boot that up. Right, and right. I, might, I might call it Tootlemelon. You may have convinced me. It's terrible, but I might. Yeah. Um... I I'm pretty sure that, uh... So that, that room with turrets reminded me that Bunny is working on undodgeable turrets. Ugh, that sounds horrendous. Can yeah, I want him to, to make them. <laughs> I, I, it was my idea, I told him to. But why? Because you insist how much... 
you're like, I want the game to be harder. When the game mm -hmm. actually becomes harder, you complain. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. I, I like the game being harder, but I don't like things being undodgeable. Well, that's kind of against the spirit of the no, game. You get you get the idea. The blue bullets. Yeah, I, I'm still not a huge fan of the blue bullets, I'll be honest. Yeah, I think the blue bullets I think they're cool. weaving. I think they're cool. And, and to be fair, the attack patterns are designed for no dodging, which makes them significantly better, obviously. Yeah. But it, it, it's just... It, it's... It kind of it kind of destroys a learnt behaviour in Gungeon. <laughs> you don't like them because they confuse you. Exactly. My small feeble brain cannot handle it. Is it's like I want the game to be more difficult, but not in a way that challenges me. <laughs> I just want to take damage over time <laughs> for no reason. Yeah, it is kind of confusing how you 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 do say that. Like, not obviously word for word, because when you say it word for word, it sounds ridiculous. But <laughs> there is it's just, that sort of it's, level of that. It, it, I, I do get that. It's just, it's very difficult to sort of put into words how I'd want the game to be more difficult. I think... I, think I, I don't think you know. No, I don't. I really don't. I think, really, the best way to do it is new enemies and new bosses. Which is, t so far, going well, but they, they're still... As much as there's getting to be quite a few of them, there still isn't enough to be making that big of an impact on a general run. You're still seeing 95% vanilla enemies, really. Just you wait. I know that uh, you've drawn up quite a lot of ideas for unique enemies. Yeah, so. I've, I've drawn a shit ton of sprites, and I need to animate them before I can even think to about... animate them? Animate. Animate. <laughs> You uncultured fuck. Ah, there was a small boy there, I didn't see him. He's, he was hiding behind another mushroom. <laughs> he was like, blend in, I'll never notice. I love this Ooh, little this colas. So cool. Yeah, little colas. Again, too. those little colas are another enemy that's just not in enough rooms. Yeah. Like, new enemies are fine and good and all, but they only really work if you place them in enough room layouts. Oh, you, I'm such a builder. Are you now? I am. I am. Is that like a, is that like a an official title, or are you born with that, or do you have I to like, earn it? No, no, no. I was born with it. Only I was though. Most people do have to earn it. Right, right. So it's hereditary. Yeah. Passed down from my father. Ah. Right. What what do hickeys that I got with this? Actually, I got like some sort of freezing effect with this thing. That's pretty good. Looks to me like a uh, cold 45. I still don't know how to feel about Chaotic Shift. I think it's fun, but I also think it kind of, it, it makes duct tape feel like one of the most useless items in the entire game now. It's ridiculously overpowered and it needs to do something like half your damage or I, whatever. I think the way that it should work is um, it should, because it was bugged originally when it first got released, where it would only give um, a duct taped weapon to the weapons you are currently holding and not the future ones. I thought that's what, how it was meant to work, but no. Once you have it, it duct tapes every single future gun. I think it should only work for the guns that you're currently holding when you pick it up. I I think that it should just half your damage because you're getting double the gun for half the damage. Doesn't so it already do that? Doesn't it? Does it? Where isn't that my damage sat at the stop at the top there? Oh fuck! I didn't notice. I thought I say I thought it already did that. And my my damage stat is t time zero point five eight right now. Yeah. Okay. So I guess I'm just a fucking idiot. But this is this 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 just goes to show though, if that is true, that it is still overpowered because I, I you didn't even notice. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I think it's just that there are far 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 more positive combinations of weapons than there are negative. <clears throat> yeah. And and there are some outright obscene combinations of weapons. I've been considering, right, a shrine that would do something kind of like Chaotic Shift where you give it a heart container and it, it duct tapes a random module to your current gun. I'd like that, yeah. Cool. Because, like, that's... that's 
like potentially more powerful, but also like it's I don't know because I don't want to just like steal from Bunny. No, no, I think it's like I don't really I wouldn't really call it stealing because um, it is different. You're using it as a shrine and it's like accessed in a different way, and its effect is different. But it's just based on ducty. Like that, that Remember, makes it different. Remember, you can, nothing, you can step on shrunken enemies. I always forget that. I think it's always risky though, because they can still fire. So you go to step on them and they shoot the moment you walk up to them. That's like kind of why you would dodge roll into them. Okay, that guy wasn't small. I thought he was. I thought he was shrinking, but turns out I just killed him fast <laughs> enough. Yeah. Um. Oh, I like, love this weapon. The so recommended cool. behavior, I would say, for uh, using shrinkers to dodge roll into the enemies, if you're ever uncertain, because it will still kill them, and it means you're like you have an area of safety. Yeah. What the fuck is going on here? Killing boys, you know how it be. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? 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 Look. Look how some of the letters are getting lodged in the wall. That's oh. because it's randomly... It has... It has randomly, right? Chaotic Shift has attached the Maiden Rifle to this gun. <laughs> but and now it's applying the same projectile and attributes yeah. to the TIE Fighter shots. So, Ski must have made it so that the uh, projectiles get changed in, like, uh, in post-process. Or something like that. <laughs> That's pretty meaning cool. it affects meaning it affects duct tape modules. Which would be an <laughs> issue, but it looks like it just changes the sprites, so it's actually really cool. It is. <laughs> yeah, the letters are just getting like, stuck in the walls. And then it, it, redirecting. It looks like it's working looks like it's working just fine. Yeah, so like it redirects towards the enemies as well. That's so cool. I see no issue here. Yeah. This is an absolute win, and this is a weapon that I really love too, so this is great. Like, extra utility on a weapon I already really like. Yeah, I'm disappointed that I didn't have an idea this good. See, this is a, this is a Skeletor gun, I think. Skeletor. Yeah, it is, it is. I'm, like, he insists that he doesn't have good ideas, and then he, like, comes up with a shit. I, I, I have to it. say, Skill does have some questionable ones in his pack, but he also has, like, a few of my absolute favorites. Ooh. Yeah, but you got to remember, a lot of the like questionable ones are the older items. Yeah, they definitely are. They definitely are. Like, it's it. Well, like I, I, Ski is a much better coder than he gives himself credit for. Yeah, definitely. He just too. doesn't. He just doesn't make a lot of stuff to drown out his older, more questionable creations. Yeah, I gotta say, but like, like this gun, while the idea isn't insanely like out there, it's a really cool one that I really enjoy using. Exactly. I think it's such a like it, it, it it's one of the what it's one of those guns in modding where you see and you're kind of like how the fuck did the dodge roll devs not think of this? This is genius. <laughs> they already had yeah, a, a gun that shot letters. A Chicago typewriter is like the best idea. <laughs> it's a very vanilla style. It gun. is. That, and and they're, they're really, benefit. I gotta say, they're really my favorite types. I Like, as much as I love a lot of the stuff Bunny does, they're not very vanilla. They're very, like, his, obviously they're, they're not going to be, because he's doing his own thing. He's not trying to build onto vanilla. He's trying to add his own spin on Gungeon. But I, I and I, I really like those too, but I also, I always love things that play heavily on the vanilla style of the game. Yeah. And it's a hard, you know, sort of balance to reach, like, I felt my style sort of diverge from vanilla a little bit. I think it's only because you'd made so many things in the vanilla style already that you'd kind of run out. <laughs> you needed to expand it's just, otherwise. It's more just that I like using, I like making things shiny in a way that vanilla doesn't often do. Yeah. Like, vanilla's very content to have flat colors and I'm like, no, slap some shine on that bad boy. You want to show off your spriting prowess. It's not just that, I just think it's it looks better. <laughs> no, it's offset. Apache really needs to fix that, like the way it, it appears a little bit to the right. Because that's like a dead giveaway. Although, yes. wait, do vanilla rainbow chests appear a little bit to the right as well? I think they do. Oh, huh, so I guess it's just for authenticity. I didn't really think of it that way. Yeah. 
we're no strangers to love. You know the rules, and so, so do I. Do I, so do I. So this looks like a uh, Greek fire mixed with the Tau cannon. Interesting. But because it's not the actual Tau cannon, it won't explode if you charge it for too long. That's pretty good. I. By the way, this is another slight niggle I have. Why does this oh, boss appear? On <laughs> Why does this boss appear every single run? Because the, the rewards you get for just... killing this boss are, like, pretty lucrative, but he shows up every run. I think Bunny has said that this boss inadvertently gives too, mi too much loot, like, more than it's intended to. It, it like, dies Which twice I, sort of thing, like... I don't, I don't know how that happens, but apparently that is what's happening. Okay, I, I don't have a completely destroying him weapon right now, which is a bit sad. I can't have Piercy, actually. Probably not the best idea for this boss, to be honest. Bunny's gonna be happy for once. Oh, dude, that was that was pretty, pretty annoying there. It's okay, we'll we'll we'll, we'll beam him down. You're actually having to learn the attack patterns. I am. For once, do I have something that immediately just, just annihilates? Him. There is that that like issue. Where, like, that, uh, bomb adds the lasers to the Treadnought's version of it. Yeah, I think I, I do think that's one, that's another thing with this boss that could be tweaked a little bit. The lasers, uh, they're good because they do telegraph his attacks, and obviously he does have faster attacks than normal, so having telegraphed attacks is really nice. But, especially when that bomb comes out and a few of her attacks, it's a bit much. There's, there's a lot of lasers on screen. Yeah, Bunny, Bunny likes visual effects. He goes a bit overboard with them. <laughs> you know, you could always step on them in it. Just saying. Just saying. See, that that's one of Ski's older items, the dragon roll. Mm. And I think he's actually, like, re-sprited it since then, but I guess he just hasn't pushed an update. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I'm gonna say, I know. Maybe he has and I just haven't updated. That's also entirely possible, you fucking swamp child. Indeed. That is correct. You, you little bog boy. Bog boy. Yeah, I showed you my uh, my disc dervish the other day. Yeah, there's some cool disc enemies going on. And, because uh, I, I wanted to do a disc thing, but I didn't want to just do a disc kin. So I went disc dervish. I can't remember what this does, but I'll take it. Uh, it leaves goop underneath your bullets. Ah, oh, okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. It also gives you poison immunity. Yeah, I would have thought so, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, so, um... What was I saying? Um, I'm, I'm losing track. I'm losing my mind. I've got dementia. Uh... Do, 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 you were saying with the disc enemy. No, we're losing it. Too bad it's nothing but a burning memory. A burning memory? Heartache. You said burning memory. My loving human only heartache. Your kiss it's was going back such to the a old precious times. thing to His brain me. has regressed. Too bad it's nothing but a burning memory. I you, got the lyrics wrong. I've got to say you better have done, because I'm going to get copyright striked one day. <laughs> oh, fucking... Who's copyright striking based on fucking Al oh, Bolin or whatever his name is? Some cunt over at YouTube. You know how they work. Some Somebody in Brazil is, like, snapping up, like, the rights or like more accurately probably pretending to exactly this is what i'm saying like some people oh my, um the other day my um my girlfriend um was she 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 works uh as a camera operator um for uh cricket in the uk um and she was they, they were streaming a cricket game and they got a copyright strike from top gear <laughs> they were like hey you're using our content it's like no this is cricket you do cars <laughs> You're using our content. You said the word car. <laughs> it's like, mm, don't know how you've got that idea, but yeah, if you remember, guys, you do cars, not cricket. <laughs> I 
I'm noticing the type reader shem sometimes shoots the word guard. Yeah, I've sort of noticed that as well. Is that a synergy or is that just something it does? I don't know. You could check the M and O account and see if it's synergizing with anything. I could. That's true. It's not. Hmm. What the hell? Was an enemy left in here? Where? Oh god, it's probably some fucker in a wall. Oh no, it's just this or not. guy. <laughs> oh, I made this room, point. I should remember. Um... Yeah, I've been sort oh. of trying to animate... I've, I've ranted about this a bit in private, but animating bullet can fucking sucks. Yeah. It's because they, um... They, they're cylinders, and pixel art cylinders are terrible. I hate them. Turn them off. Go away. <laughs> See this? What is this? It looks like the doll from Dead Cells. No, it doesn't. It does a bit. What? How? It's a door and it's big. That's the only similarity. Exactly. <laughs> I didn't say how similar it looked. I said it looked similar to. I didn't say how similar. You know, similar. that door really looks similar to fucking John Wayne Gacy. Oof. Why it's big. Oof. Good old John Wayne. Don't say that. No, it's bad. It's bad luck. Bad luck? I think it's just a bad look. That's what I meant, it's a bad look. See, this is why you should speak the Queen's English. I do speak the Queen's English. You just don't understand my accent. Yeah, you... What's this? Haven't, uh, it's basically a shrine version of the eye patch. Lose accuracy for damage, but it's more potent than the eye patch. Yep, I'll take it. I'm taking what that's yeah, it's, selling. It's kind of a bit boring, but at the same time, I, I don't know, I, I like it. I think it's cool, yeah. Decent enough. I'll change it if anyone can suggest a better idea for it, but... Um... Yeah, didn't you say you, like, were born in a hole? Born in a hole? Yeah, when... you know, you're like, oh, I live in a hole. <laughs> I don't quite think that's what I said. I was born in the place called Hull. H-U-L-L. -L, yeah, you hole. were born in a hole. You live in a hole. And I no longer live there You were born in a anymore, hole so... on the beach, and you had to you had to waddle to the sea before you could be eaten by a, a gull. Yes, that is exactly true. That's, that's, that that is why I'm here. A gull in hole. A hole gull. A gull in hole. A gull in hole. Hmm, this seems yeah. racist. <laughs> it's holist. <laughs> it's holistic. Holistic, oh no. I'm surprised that it, actually, I was gonna say I'm surprised there isn't a business in the whole call that there probably is. There is a place in New Zealand that uh I haven't really spent a lot of time in, but you know, it's a sort of like a drive-through town. Yeah. You know those? But there's no reason to really stop, but there's stuff there. It's called Bulls. Like B-U-L-L-S. Bulls. Can this you chill Apache, fucking... can you chill out? <laughs> I got two yeah, in one um, run. <laughs> They're not really that much of a of a shock when you get one every run. Yeah, so um Bulls is it's an interesting town because uh it exists. Oh there's enemies to in here, puns. what the fuck? Ah Cares There's of enemies darkness. in here every time. Yeah, but Cares of Darkness is a shithead, so don't like it. Get it. Get rid. Um. So every like, or at least the last time I went, they may have actually you know grown the fuck up since then. But the last time I went, every sort of business in uh, bowls has a special sign that says something a bowl. Ugh. So like the restaurant will say edible. Ah. The the like apartment will say rentable, and it's that like the worst. It's fucking horrible, but I love it. Does any of the shops have like unbelievable? <laughs> Probably, I wouldn't be surprised. See, I don't know if they still do that, but at the last two times I've been to it was like that. They probably do. Yeah, that is horrible. 
Unfortunately, it's not a place I have to go through often. Yeah, sounds sounds pretty horrible. <laughs> pretty cringe worthy. <laughs> yeah, kind of cringe. Uh, L plus ratio. I don't know what any of those words mean. I'm too old. Yeah, for of that. course you don't. You're a fucking old man. Damn. I'm probably gonna die in this room. You're you're gonna d get on like solid ground. What what are you doing? What do you mean? What am I doing? Go back to the shop right now, young man, and buy some health. No. I might die, but at least I'll die my way. Maui. My way or the a, a big ma a big ma Maui. Right. See I showed I showed Turtle uh, some cooking the other day. Oh, he loved Lord. it. It was it was something. There's, there's armor there too. Yeah, I don't want the armor. <laughs> you don't want to survive too long. Um Yeah, he I loved it. He wants to make it himself though. now. He wants to make it himself now. He thinks oh, it looked real tasty. Yeah, the the egg the egg whites were really a highlight. Yeah, so I showed him anyone who knows um this. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but anyone who knows what I'm talking about will no. I showed him Kay's cooking, cooking with Jack, and Masayo Masao Masayo cooking with hoarders, and he loved it. It was an interesting watch, certainly. Yeah, and he had to show it to other people because I did. I did, the, it there's was something about those people that, you know, it compels you to spread the pain. Why is this even already open? What the shit? That's what okay. the crystal ball does. Uh. Okay. Crystal ball reveals and opens secret rooms. This is um intriguing. He's a big boy. Check the Amanomicon description. Just ripped the head off of a shrine and called it a day. I've also noticed how you call everything in games he. I do. Like, in, in Isaac, you'll be fighting, like, mother, and you'll be like, yeah, he's taken a lot of damage. I do. I, I do question, like, what you think's going on. I don't know. It's like... It's basically because they don't really have a gender. Or anything like a bullet can doesn't have a gender, so to say. Well, so I just default well, to he. <clears throat> That's fair, right? But not when the thing is called mother. I mean, I understand that, but look at it. It's like an amalgamation of flesh. It doesn't really matter what you call it. What the fuck? Excuse me, sir. When does this room end? Oh no, I died. That was entirely your own fault. Where where the fuck was the last enemy? It's there, look, it's still in the wall to the right. It just had sunk straight into the wall. That shrinking bug is very frustrating. <laughs> yeah, I I need to fix it, but I'm not entirely sure how is the issue. Alright, let's go do a Diddy Boss Rush after this, because that was a bit, bit of a quick one. I need I need to cough. I need to cough all over your audience. I need to cough into your mouth. Do it now. Do it. <laughs> good, 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 good. Can that was a nice my, can, one. Can you hear my chair squeaking, by the way? Yes, I can. Lovely. I just assumed it was your old man joints. <laughs> Lovely. What uh, boss rush unlocks do you still have? I have got them all. We checked last time. Oh. Nice. Let's just do a random boss rush. Shut up, man. Let me in. That's good. Oh my god, I'm sleepy. Ooh. Isn't it the worst when you're sleepy and then have a full day of work to do? Haha, <laughs> I wouldn't know what that feels like because I'm never tired. And never work. Hey, listen, I do a lot of <laughs> self-imposed work. You do, you do. You do a lot of work that many people would get paid quite a lot for, but you get paid nothing for. Yeah, like... In my meager defense, I, I do, like... Probably more work than I would at a job. Yeah, you because do. You I have do. flagrant disregard for oh, my well-being. Oh, 
stupid trigger twins. Yeah, basically, as soon as you get drawing, it's like, oops, I forgot about mental health. It gone. Yeah, I forgot about eating, I forgot about drinking, I forgot about sleeping, I forgot about breathing. I'm like, I'm just going to finish corpse. this last drawing. <laughs> 499th of the night. <laughs> yeah, like yesterday I did. I animated a blood cube, the disc dervish, something called a chasser. A what? Uh, okay, so there's a type of musket ball called the the chass, and I decided, what if I made an enemy that chases you based on the chass and called it the chasser? That's pretty funny. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, the idea, it, the chess is probably, it, it was actually quite simple to do, I just needed to animate it, like, because it's one of those enemies where it, it's floating, so there's not really any difference between yeah, how yeah. it animates when it's walking and when it's standing still. It's idle and movement can be pretty much the same, yeah. Yeah. Because, like, it's something that you don't really think about, but the majority of, like, by and large, flying is way easier to animate than walking. Yeah, because it's kind of just them bobbing up and down and the wings moving. If they yeah. even have wings. But yeah, the idea behind the chase, uh, the chasser, is that it just, like, follows you. Like, runs behind you and leaves a trail of bullets. Pretty simple, like, but I think it would be an interesting design. Yeah. So you, so you spend all night working on it when you should have been sleeping. No, I didn't spend all night. I spent like 20 minutes. It wasn't a difficult thing to animate. I told you. <laughs> but then what did you do after that? Did you, did you then think, ah, that's a nice bit of work. Let's go to bed. Or did you then start on the next thing? Well, this was after I had finished animating the blood cube. Mm. So I animated the blood cube and I animated the ch chasser. Uh, then I sprited, didn't animate, but I sprited the detonites. And then I uh, animated the disc dervish. Got them all ready. Yeah. Oh, oh good lord. Synergy. Interesting. So, laser bullets means your bullets have a chance to fire beams. Nice. The beam me up synergy makes it so that laser bullets can fire beams from beam weapons in your inventory. Oh, that's very nice. So, it... Currently, ironically enough, laser bullets doesn't do anything on, uh, doesn't do anything on lasers themselves, but it, it works on projectile weapons. This is interesting. I was kind of hoping it'd fire lasers off of the broken pots, but that would probably be quite laggy, so maybe a good thing. The broken, the broken pots don't get, like, processed. Yeah, there's a thing called, it's like flak bullets, isn't it? Yeah, there's a thing called post-processing that... Uh, the game calls it post-process oh. projectile. Yeah. So when a bullet spawns, post-process projectile is run, and it's in that post-process that the game applies bullet effects. And because the shards don't get processed, they don't get bullet effects. Oh, shit, I didn't see you. Come on now, sir, just die. I'm not, I'm not quite really understanding the gimmick of this panic pistol. Oh god, auto mean? gun's gonna be fucking cracked. Yeah. <laughs> what does the panic pistol do? Has higher reload speed the more enemies are in the room. Okay, that's kind of interesting. You're not gonna pick up the armor? Oh I good, well. I think I, I did make it like scale with fire rate. Okay, that's good. So enemy, uh, so bullets, and that's an, both of those things weren't the thing I went to say. Guns that fire faster do lasers less often. A lot less often. Uh, blame oh. dodge roll. It's their, it's their code for the scaling, so. Where are all these explosions coming from? What's going on? <laughs> Am I firing uh, TNT? I, it's, this is going to fire TNT. Probably, I think. It doesn't look like TNT when it's in the air, but I don't know. I guess we'll. I guess not. 
I don't know. I don't know what it does. It's just too cool. It lures with TNT. Uh, check the description. Guaranteed to blow your mind. Oh, it's probably like um, uh, katana bullets, where it activates on killing something. Probably, yeah. Nope. What? It just activated there. I didn't kill anything. What? It's just on firing at an enemy by the looks of it. It's also very strong. <laughs> I know that there's no boss armor, that's probably why it's really strong right now, but it's still cool. Uh -huh. Ooh, this is good. This is really oh. useful. <laughs> yeah, useless item. My favorite. <laughs> at the very least, it gave you a key for your uh, key bullets. In Alexandria, you're going to add a tag so that they get removed from boss rush. Ideally, yeah, if we can. That'd be nice. Because loot, messing with loot is difficult, and it's scary, and I don't like it. But it's sort of a necessity. Yeah. It's interesting that the nitra it spawns, like, can be shot by your own bullets. <laughs> yeah, you can shoot them with it with the gun itself. I love the fact that I got this ice bullet thing going on. Just ran a bit of freezer. I get hit there, damn you. Yeah, laser bullets is kind of busted. I like it though. Um, I've had people say it's like really, like, messes with their head when there's a lot of lasers on screen. Oh yeah, it definitely does. <laughs> it's definitely hard to focus on what's going on when there's this many lasers on screen, but I'm not gonna complain. Yeah, it's, it's all about that DPS. I just fired out a champion nitro there. Nice. Part of me wants to, like, with the weapon change, part of me wants to make, like, a, uh, a revamped champions mod that just, like, only does champions. Like, that's all it adds. Yeah, that, that'd just be nice. I, I, I gotta say, I do, I do think having the champions thing... I think there's a lot of things in modding, really. Oh, god damn it. Uh, there's a lot of things in modding, really, that should be separated out into their own mods. Like, I think, like, your all jammed mode and, like, your curses and stuff should all be separate into their own mods, personally. Because I think, for one, some people might only want that. I think it's highly, highly unlikely people wouldn't want the rest well, of your I've, mod. I've but... actually considered making just a, a generic all jammed command mod that's just, like, for people who don't want the content. Yeah, because I, th I think that and curses are two things in your mod that some people that don't want the content might still want. Nobody likes curses. No, unfortunately not. It's th it's th demoralizing, but the only time anyone ever mentions them is to complain about them, and it makes me sad. I, I think it's because they they seemed like a really good idea on paper. But unfortunately, they, they just don't really add anything to the game. They just add frustration and annoyance. At least in my experience. Like, there, there isn't, at least so far, in my opinion, sad to say, there isn't one curse that I ever see and I'm like, yes, I'm okay with this. I'm always like, for fuck's sake, this curse again. Which in Isaac is never the same. It's never like that in Isaac. There is a few of those. Why? There is a few of those why, in Isaac. Why is it like that in Isaac? I don't, I don't know. I don't, I really don't. I, if you can't tell me, then how can I fix it? I really don't know, but like in, in Isaac, there is definitely some of those curses. Like if you get cursed the lost sometimes, it's like, oh, for fuck's sake. <clears throat> but I think the rest of them are not that bad or have like some sort of okay impact. And especially the ones added from the cursed collection mod are insanely good. They're really fun. They add a unique value to the to, to the floor that you get them on, while also making it more difficult in a unique and fun way. Did that just spawn? Uh, uh, what the hell was that? It spawned like the mean? base of a turret, but no turret. What the hell? Look at that. Uh oh, stinky! It just spawned the base of a turret. Thanks, I guess. I think I think that's probably a bug. <laughs> Uh, maybe you're meant to, like, interact with the turret base or something? Maybe. I guess soon we'll find out. The nitrogen's too strong here. It's too strong. 
Because I, I wouldn't be surprised if, like, uh, the turret's like a thing where you get close to it and you interact with it and you get, like, a, a stationary powerful machine gun or something. Maybe, yeah, maybe. That wouldn't surprise me, but I, I can't say for certain. Do this attack again, why don't you? God damn it. Yeah, I want to add more curses and I want to make them more, like, fun, but oh, I don't it is, know it is how exa because... It is exactly that. That's pretty cool. Right, so it's not bugged, it's just awesome. Like, obviously it's extremely yeah. dangerous, but like... That's, that's really cool, Extremely actually. cool. That's really cool. Yeah, that's a very good idea. Hey, I got demon head in there as well now. Awesome. Yeah, so now it'll be a chance for demon head or freezing. I don't think the uh, the nitro gun would be as powerful outside. The no, boss thresh. definitely not. It's it's clearly because the boss armor isn't taking effect that it's so strong. That's another mimic. I saw. I, I saw. Tell you because you're a fucking imbecile. You little that baby. Is true. Why is it not spawning nitrous on this guy? What are you doing? Stupid gun. Die! Oh my god. Desk fan. Hmm. Desk fan's a room clearer. <laughs> is it one of yours? Yeah, it is. Intriguing. Desk fan doesn't actually fire projectiles. It's honestly more akin to a, a giant melee. Oh, is it? <laughs> it like it it literally like applies damage to all the enemies in the direction it's firing and pushes them back. And the cool. easiest way to achieve because I tried to achieve that effect with projectiles, but it was really laggy. But yeah, I, I have a few ideas for curses, like, one idea was a curse that makes it so that, like, if you waste, uh, like, if you reload without the clip being, like, fully emptied, yeah. you lose the ammo left in the clip a mm -hmm. as, like, a, a waste thing, like, you know, waste not. Yeah. Another one was... A uh, curse that gives enemies a chance to have bouncy bullets. Oh, fuck you. Go away. No. Uh, it's only like, it would only be like a small no. chance. I don't care. No. <laughs> That's not a good idea. Well, just because you can't fucking calculate trajectories in your head. People are going to hate that. I promise you. People are going to hate that. That, that sounds... Like it's gonna lead to a lot of un un unexpected and unreliable damage. I don't know. I I think it'll be fine. Uh, yeah, but you said that about the ones that are in the game at the moment. Yeah, but one of the <laughs> ones that was in the game at the moment was your idea. Yeah, I was I was wrong as well. I know. I know. Um. Oh, this is this is rather peculiar. Yeah, I still don't remember suggesting that, but I'm gonna believe you that I did. This is also it not was the literally item. your idea. This is also not the items I had this run. These hmm. are the items from the last run. Yeah, could you send me the debug log after this? I will. I'm stuck on the screen too. I can't exit. Yeah. This is a, a known bug that uh, I haven't been able to fix because I haven't been able to get anyone to send me an actual debug log. But now I, 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 I am going to have to all F4 the game though because I can't close it any other yeah. way. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, uh, yeah I, I guess know. well, I guess we'll leave it off there. After after just destroying Nevernames uh, curse uh, curse idea. Everyone in the comments, let just Nevernames know how much you don't me. like the uh, curse idea. Um, Here's um, an idea. How about you actually give me ideas for good curses? You are you you cunts. You you bitches. <laughs> you little just, bitches. No no no. Just just put NN bad mod bad in the comments. I can't believe you're doing this to me. I can't and, believe you're throwing me under the bus. Like and this. go on, go onto the trailer and say NN's mod bad. Um, once more into the breach bad. 
Oh, God. <laughs> no, don't do that. If you do that, I'll just delete it. But do it on this video. Yeah. Your dad's a dildo. He is. I, I already I already confirmed that suspicion. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This was a rather odd one. And yeah, guys, we'll see you in the next one, I guess. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs>